Welcome back, everyone. We got the B-side final, the semi-final underway here with that break-off. Team Good, Bad, and Ugly taking on 8-Ball Express. We're here at Leather Pocket Billiards. We got the playoffs of the in-house league. 2800 division. Let me get that graphic off of your screen there. Sorry about that. The semi-final of the league playoffs, 2800 Fargo division. That's for five player teams. We've got a race to 13. First team to win 13 games. No points, just wins. And we are live on Facebook and YouTube. Guys, do me a favor, click that share button. That's all we ever ask here. At Q Sports Live with these free streams is that you guys share it for us. Live on Facebook and YouTube. I will follow along with both chats if you guys would like to chat along. Or if you're just watching quietly, that's okay too. Maybe watching some of the Ultimate Pool. Final looks like Billy Thorpe putting on a bit of a show there. Thorpedo came to play. I haven't got a chance to watch it. I just uh, I saw a score there. And so we're going to see some team shirts here again. If you guys were watching the last match, you'll know most of these players from Good, Bad, Ugly. But the other team has some team shirts. They're almost all matching. It is quite nice. Warren and I just talked about it, actually, and it can have a couple of factors. One nice one is uh, a bit of intimidation. You can look like a team, you know? You look like you've played together before. You look like uh, you know what you're doing, right? They are jam-up shirts. That's going to help them shoot about 20 points higher Fargo each player. I'm just kidding. 35. Heard Damien use that line in Vegas. I'm going to use it all the time now. That shirt's going to make you shoot 20 points higher. And we'll see. The winner of this match is going to take on Team Who Ate My Rice in the final. They've put up a good show so far real tough team to beat team who ate my rice and so we have Jackie looks like playing a little Safety there on the right side table. She's left Derek a long one here. Try to watch both tables at the same time. Give you guys a little bit of what's happening. While keeping track of the score. Tough shot there for Mr. Fuller. Never easy those ones to start your match. Nice thing about winning the A side is I can smell who ate my rice is eating dinner. <laughs> so they get time for dinner while these other teams got to just go to it. Maybe they got to eat a little snack while they play. These guys are sitting back chilling, hitting balls and eating dinner. Jackie with a nice shot there. This is the team that knocked out my team this morning. 8-Ball Express played really well against us. And they won 13-11. Nice close match. No complaints from our side of the fence. We played quite well. Gave them a sweat. And we had a super amount of fun. Whole year was great. 
We had a real, real good group of guys. Just out having a good time every week. Okay, so he's got a slow roll this ball on the side, but it's got lots of room. The question will be later on here is the six on this left side table. What does he do with the six? Don Collins definitely got a plan. Oh, he's got to make the two first. See, he's not thrilled about it. These games are becoming more and more important. A lot of prize money on the line here. Jackie's overcut this ball. Is it going to get there? It's not. I <laughs> see her lean a bit. But she did catch it on the thin side. That's why it didn't get there. It wasn't a matter of not getting it towards the right side of the pocket. It was just a matter of well, a little more speed behind it or catch a little thicker would have went in. So once again, if you guys are just tuning in with me, it's the Leather Pocket in-house league playoffs. So we got summer league coming up. I'll put up the poster for you guys in between racks. It's going to begin on June 18th, run till August 8th. It's an eight-week session. And then we'll have a, a one-day playoffs. Put that poster up for you guys in between racks so you can take a look if you want to get signed up for summer league here at lp cash league but also sanctioned through bca and ccs slash acs which ccs acs have a couple of great events coming up Western Canadian Championships at Acadia Rec Center in a couple of weeks. And only two weeks after that is the big one in Vegas, the ACS National Championships. If you've never been to either one of those events, I highly recommend them both. I've been to both many times. And they're both super great events. So it looks like a chance to win the first game over here on the left side table for good, bad, ugly. Don Collins, Wednesday night's ERO leader, had the most runouts. Let's see if he can close this one out with this nice little eight ball. Looks good. Cue ball looks clean. One nothing. Good, bad, ugly. On the board first. Let's see if. Jackie on Team 8-Ball Express can tie this up. Looks like this 2-Ball has gotten a game here. She's going to need to shoot this stripe into the top right corner. Shot just became a lot tougher as well as the shape. Does the 8 pass the 7 into the top left? It definitely does. So she doesn't need to like load this one up with spin and try to get shape for the 8 in the side or anything. It's really just about potting this ball. I favor her to make it. She's hitting the ball real good. Your team doesn't get this far with players playing bad. You got to have players playing good. She played a really nice game against me earlier. Look at that. That's a beautiful shot. What a great shot from Jackie. She played a really, really nice game against me uh, about an hour ago and she deserved to win. I just got a little bit lucky that she happened to miss a ball, but she was looking like going to run me out. You can see she can play. Nice out there from Jackie. Gets her team on the board. They'll love to see that. They'll need her to play good in this match in order to win. And I 
brings us to this left side table. Warren Lindland mentioned to me earlier, he said, I had more losses in that match. That previous match that we just watched, he said he had more losses in that than he had all day yesterday. That's pretty good. He played pretty sporty yesterday from what I'm told. I love to see it. It's a guy who puts in the work, you know. So I'm just going to share the stream. If you guys can do me a favor, share it too. would be greatly appreciated. That's all we ever ask for here at Q Sports Live with these free streams. Okay, Warren saving the ball over the side for the out ball. I like that. He needs to get a precise window here on it, though. Cue ball needs to slow down. He needs to make the ball. Look at that. It hung up. He was looking pretty good. He's going to go over and look. He says, yep, I was perfect. Saving grace here as he's got a couple of pockets plugged. But I think that's calling over there. That's not the guy you want to let to the table. And with 8-Ball Express at both tables here. And Colin's got some work there on the left. That doesn't lay very friendly. You can kind of pick apart the ones you need. Like, I mean, the 6 7 two isn't horrible. The 8 is going to be the issue. You might have to play it off of that ball into the side later on or bank it or something. It's not going to be easy. That's one thing we know for sure. We'll see what he does. Maybe the six slips into that side pocket after this shot. No, he's coming around for the other side. Good shot. He'd rather the cue ball not be frozen on that rail, but he can make it work. Good player. They tend to find a way. So is anybody live in the chat? I haven't seen any comments. Maybe my comments aren't loading. I see Rob Boone's comment in the YouTube. He says, is this a big table league? This was not a big table league. This was a small table league. Seven footers. I know it's a little tricky to tell on the live stream, but these are seven foot diamonds. Leather pocket has eight seven foot diamonds eight nine foot diamonds six sorry four valleys and a predator table we have a tournament coming up in a few weeks here may long weekend in edmonton alberta beautiful pool room up there top shots i've been telling a couple people about it that's where i got the six valleys they have six valleys Colin's plan is here. He's kind of saved a couple of the tough ones for last. Ooh, yeah, there's hockey on also, like playoff hockey, playoff basketball, world championship snooker, ultimate pool, the list goes on. I'm a big sports fan too, so. But not as big of a sports fan as I am a pool nerd. Just checking, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Had to check. Make sure you guys are alive out there. And Rob wants to know, do we have big table leagues? Typically not in the winter session, which runs from September to April. But in the summer, I do run uh, a nine-foot league. 
I'll put up the poster there when we get a, a moment in between in between games here, but it's nine foot ten ball, three player teams. Eighteen hundred Fargo. Really pool league is about having fun. It's about getting some sanction to go to the bigger events. And it's about having fun. <laughs> It's a really great way to meet people. Really great way to meet people. Because not only do you get to meet your teammates, but you get to become really good friends with the players on the other teams. Oof, good shot there from Colin. I think he wanted to draw back just a touch more. Because as I mentioned before, I think his plan for the eight is in off the ball in the side pocket. He might have to change his plan here and take what he can get and play bank shape on the eight. Bank it in the side after. Don't know if you can pull underneath it now. I know it would take a lot of low and a lot of right. You need the right to bite off that end rail. So I don't know if it's worth all that risk, you know, slow spinning or loading up with the juice. Might be better to just kind of take what you can get. Get the cue ball where the seven is now is not so bad to bank that ball on the side, right? Or it goes by that stripe in the top right. I could be wrong this whole time. Maybe it just goes nicely in there. Hard to tell from our angles. Yeah, he's playing the bank shape, but he missed the ball. But he missed the ball. How big is that for good, bad, and ugly? Getting to both tables here with a little backdoor action. Chance to take a 3-1 lead. They need a little recovery match here. It's not easy coming off a loss. It's pretty easy to just lose again. A lot easier to do that than it is to win. And you're playing a team who has most likely won a few matches. When you're in this spot in the B-side final. It's all about the recovery though. Pool is so much about recovery. Oh, what a fantastic shot from Warren there. How good is that? You could see he was a little worried about it. And it was not easy, but he made it look easy. He just razor thinned that ball. <laughs> Kissed the eight. Big high five from his team because that's a good shot. That's real nice. And I think Mike's looking pretty good here. He got a weird kiss, but he's got to make a good shot. I'm just going to flash his summer league poster up quick while Mike's thinking about his next shot. So you can see we got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday divisions. Tuesday and Wednesday are going to play together in playoffs. That's going to, you know, increase the prize fund a little bit. But I like to throw in that. Um, wow. thought that ball was in the whole time. He hit it good. Uh, as I was saying, yeah, we like to throw in that nine-foot league, you know. Summer league is more about just kind of getting bodies in the pool room, so. Get guys playing nine-foot if that's what they want to play. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Larry. Cue ball got lost. I don't think this goes into this lower left. Can he back cut this in the side? Is it possible to back cut this in the side from where he's at? I don't think so. He's getting down on it pretty quick for how hard it is. Maybe it goes by this ball into the lower left. Question mark. Oh, he hit it nice and thin, but I, like that's about as thin as he could hit it, it looked like. Looked like about as thin as he could hit it, and it didn't get there. What a great second chance for Mike here. Derek Anderson going to break on the left side table there. Smashing it. Head ball. Man, he's been breaking good all season. A lot of runouts. A high runout percentage would be a better way to explain Derek Anderson. When it's his break and he's hitting it like that, man, he's running out a lot. Mike on the right there, just the eight left now. 
for 3-1. I'll try to keep uh, this game count score as well. Or we just put 13 there because it's a race to 13. You guys know what game they're on, right? Right. It's pretty easy to tell. <laughs> but if you're new to this format, it is five player teams. So they play 25 total games, which means each player has the ability to play each player on the other team. Look at that, he tried to break out the four, I think. Missed it, but he's gonna get another chance. He's got a good angle on the seven to nudge into it, I think. But now he's gonna check if it goes. I don't know if it matters because how do you get on it? So each player has the ability to play the each other player on the other team, but it's only race to 13. So let's say one team wins 13-1, then you know, you might only play three games. Possibly only two. Beautiful shot there from Derek. And now I'm assuming this four goes because I think he would have tried to get into it there with the cue ball if it didn't. It's a purple four of the ball. And is he two straight in or does he have a little angle to draw? Looks like he's going to draw. Right side rail, touch inside spin. Mm, he did a little more inside spin. He was a little too straight. Now he's got a tough one. Does he play this in off or does it go clean? Yeah, he tried to play it in off. I think the line it looked to be on, he had to play with heavy amounts of draw. He did know that. He played it with a little bit of draw. I think he needed a lot of draw. He needed the four to top spin through that ball as much as it could. It's going to bring Buck to the table. Delaney on the left side table there. Sporting the bright orange glove. You got to have love for the glove. <laughs> He's been hitting the ball great. Every time I see him play, he's hitting it a little bit better. His dad told me some real amazing stuff too. Is He's been organizing some youth stuff with where they live. And doing a lot of work to get these kids to play. And it's amazing. And he's, and he's very young himself. So it's real nice to see. He's, he's kind of like taking the reins on the next generation. You know, and if he keeps playing this game the way he is, he's going to be playing his whole life well. So it's nice to see him, you know, already taking that initiative to get the next generation in. Pat on the back to him for that. Let's see if he can work out these last three balls in the eight. Pattern looks good. Let's overrun this one a bit. Might need to change plans now. It's okay. Just can't panic. Got to keep it all cool. Cool and calm. Just pretend like right there is going to be okay. And then just work it out. You can shoot that ball in the top right. With a little soft draw. I think you'd be fine. You just have to use the draw soft. If you get a little punchy on the stroke, then it doesn't work. Or you can shoot this one he's looking at. Just get by the four ball. I, I like this shot. It lays nice. Just make the ball. Should look good on the 14. He hit it nice and thin. He's got to get it by the four. I think he's okay. This is okay. Better than behind the four, right? Uh, Buck's dad also plays on this team, Warren. 
but they have six players, so one guy's got to sit, which gets a little funny, but everybody's taking their turn. Is nice to see. When we played them, Larry sat. And when they played their last match, Jackie sat. And now Warren's sitting. My team kind of did a very similar thing, just rotated through them a little bit. The ones that made sense and were able. <laughs> I don't think they would have let me sit. I volunteered. Bit of a cluster on that other table. Beautiful. Nice shot from Buck there. So that'll get his team within one. That's a nice tidy little out from him there. He did good. He got a little out of line and then he just cleaned it up nice. Made two good shots. Got back where he needed to. Cut the eight in. Way go. He pulled out the next cue earlier, and I went, ah, yeah. <laughs> it was looking good. We played a decent safety on him, and I thought, yeah, makeable jump, but you know, it's a jump. Till he got the next cue, and then I knew it was all over. <laughs> but he still had to make it. He jumped it in real nice. Made a good shot. So we had a new sponsor this year, not sponsor, sanction rather. CCS, my good friend Ted Harms. And so he's got, they have a couple big events coming up. He has one, of course, big one. Western Canadian Championships at Acadia Rec Center. Coming up in like only a week and a half, but you can still sign up if you go to their website. PPL. You can Google Players Pool League and I'll take you right there. Nice and easy to find. And during that event, I'm hosting an event. I, I did it last year. It was a brainchild of Big Red in Ontario, Eric Orlifson hosted what he called the Big Red Shootout. And so Ted had the idea to play on the same thing here in Calgary, and I loved it last year, so we did it. The Franchise Shootout. Very honored to um, be able to, you know, host it and organize it and, and play it. And win it the first year. Lucky boy, Eric let me win. <laughs> and so I'm doing it again this year. Uh, invitation, 16 players. $350 entry. $1,500 added by CCS. No green fee or admin fee or any fee. It's Ted's way of giving back to us players who aren't allowed to play in the main event anymore. And I absolutely love it. It also gives aspiring players something to look towards, which I think is so important in pool. If all we see is big prize funds at the lower end of the game, it doesn't give us a reason to get better. So I think it's important that we see some big prize funds, you know, at the top of the game with, with some of the top players with the players that aren't allowed to play the main events anymore because of you know whether it's Fargo or Ted just used kind of known ability right and he let us all have a really good run it wasn't without winning a whole bunch before he told us okay we're gonna let some other people win now and, and then he gave us another event and I'm super thankful for that not just because I get to play but like I said because it's gonna help grow the game so I have nine paid entries out of 16. And if there's anybody out there listening, like I saw Darren Churchill tuned in, don't think I sent Darren an invite. If Darren would like to play, <laughs> Darren can play. Anybody can send me a message if they would like to get an invite into that tournament. November 4th, one day tournament. 
Race of seven and six, eight ball valley table. Short and sweet, but with a big juicy prize fund. First place can be 3,500. Anyway, back to the action. Enough of that plug. Jackie looks like she's grinded out this game nicely on the right side table. Score at 3-2. If you're just tuning in, these teams are racing to 13 wins. So the first team to win 13 games, and then the match will be over. And the winner is going to play the final against Who Ate My Rice. And that's going to be coming up right after this. We'll take a 15-minute, maybe 10-minute break and get right back at it. And I had that scheduled for 6.30. We're going to be about half an hour behind that. But we're not bad pace here. I think it's going to all work out not too bad. And yeah, church for sure, buddy. Yeah, Just uh, shoot me a message. If you want in, pal. First 16 paid. There's some fish in there like me and Eric again, too. It's not that tough of a tournament. <laughs> Just like Brady and, you know, Dave Martin and, you know, a bunch of not very good players. <laughs> Carlos is playing. Maybe you can get a ride with Carlos. Carpool. Done. Sold. You can email me your entry, sir. Derek Moore is due to send me his entry. But meanwhile, we got Derek Fuller on this table on the left. They had some Derricks on their team, let me tell you. We're seeing two here, Fuller and Anderson, but they had a Fletcher. Fuller, Anderson, and Fletcher. They had some Derricks. They really should have just picked up Derek Moore and called it. Obviously, Team Adam. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've always thought I would just play with like four Bens because there's enough of them in Calgary to just play with four of them. And we just name it Team Ben. Good shot by Derek there. Real nice. Back and forth with the cue ball. He's got a real good look at this 10 with a nice angle to draw back to stay on the 12 into the same hole. Jackie showing a little KG move there. Chip and safe. Can't tell who we have at this table here. It's, is it Don? It appears to be Don Collins. This is one of the players that can definitely get out of this situation. She looks like he's going to. One more good shot. This shot is tricky. A little soft draw. On the right side table there. This is not an easy shot, but I think he can probably do it. He's going to look to see if he can beat the scratch. I think he can. It's a soft stroke, though. You can't get snatchy on this one. You get quick on that stroke and a little punchy, and you're dead meat. You're going straight in the drink. But if you stay smooth, and Don has a nice smooth cue action, then you can beat the side pocket, the soft draw. No. You got a little snatchy on the stroke. You see it, you see it was a little quick. It needed to be a little, you see how his arm twitched a little? It needed to be smoother. It had to be like a slow, smooth, accelerating shot. And his teammate made a big mistake on that other table. Derek had a good look. He kind of ended up behind this ball. Now he's got a real tough one. Did I do that last year in the <laughs> Huntington's Blake? Did I shoot a ball and go straight in the side? Is that what we're saying? It's happened. I've definitely done it. I don't remember them all, but that's not an ideal time to do it <laughs> in three-man teams. 
when I'm the highest Fargo and they need me to not do that. I think we saw Jackie win that game. Colin play a nice safety over there. We got a tie ball game here, right, folks? It's all tied up. Sorry, guys, just uh, muted so I don't hear me clearing my throat. Getting a frog in my throat. Good thing I got some hauls here for later for the final. Larry to break here on the right. And Derek in big trouble there on the left. I don't know what he does here. He can kick at this ball, but I don't think it'll slide between the eight, four. Maybe it pinballs off of both of them. You gotta watch, you don't just make the eight though. Eh, probably better to drive right by and make him do something at least. Staff back from dinner. Yeah. A little oh. snack, right? And then you're going for dinner? Yeah, a little <laughs> snack. I just, I haven't eaten all day, so I was getting a little shaky. Mm -hmm. What we got going on here, tight match? I may leave you here for a little bit and eat in a little bit too so we'll see once we get a little closer through this match i'll see how it's going for sure yeah real real close it was it was 3-1 for good bad ugly now it's all tied up did you watch a little bit of the ultimate pool i didn't see like i i tuned in and it was like five five two for billy and then i saw tyler was getting it to like five four and he won it, eh? He came won back, it. He came yeah. back. And it was, it was nice. crazy. Team Jam up for the win there. Yeah. I, yeah, I love it. I love it. Billy's Billy's easy to like, too, you know, but but obviously we're going to root a little bit for the Jam up guy. A little. <laughs> oh, no. We're in the <clears> six. And you know why? He's telling his opponent, like, if he wants to move the one back, he was bridged over it. Oh. And he touched it on his way through the stroke. I made that him miss is, the ball. That is good sportsmanship. Mm -hmm. I'm a so. firm believer in letting your opponent know when that happens because they don't always get to see, especially when your back's to them, right? And it doesn't change a lot. Warren had to know, like, even if he moves it back, doesn't change anything. But no. you still got to let him know, right? It's not like it moved, you know, six, eight inches or anything like that. Oh, look at this. Oh, did he overcut oh, it no. a touch? Oh, he no. did. Not going to be thrilled about that. So Tyler's going to play Chris in the final. Chris Melling from the final, yeah. And they're like, they probably just play it right away the way they play that tournament, eh? It's going to be fast. It'll be fast, fast. Like it'll be up in like 10 minutes or something? I like think, they don't take like I an think hour they're showing the women's oh, okay. final now. And then... Also, they do get a bit of a break. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's... Uh, I, I think... guess with that shootout, they just, had, they just play back-to-back because -back it was one day tournament, yeah. Yeah, yeah. With the 16, well, cool. 16 men. Maybe, maybe I'll get a chance to watch it like after after this mm -hmm. or something, you know. If not, I'll have time later tonight to watch it. It's fine. It's like 10 grand for first and 65, I think, for second or 5,000 for second. That's pretty close to this. We got 10 and 62 or something like that, yeah. right? Yeah. It's a big swing between well, first and second. Nice payout for the first event. Like that's, you got to love winning 10 grand. Oh my God. $30,000 added, they added to that division. That's good stuff. Unheard of. Oh, I see what, I missed see the what, one ball. I was talking about putting a team of Bens together, but I was talking about like putting four Bens. And then Blake was like, oh, you did that last year at Huntington's. I thought he was talking about a scratch in the side. I'm like, oh. <laughs> did, I, did I scratch in the side? He's like, no, you put together a team of Bens. Team of Bens. It all about the Benjamins. It was all about the Benjamins. I remember that. That was pretty crafty. I liked it. Ah, oh, we had lots of choices there. <laughs> <laughs> there was plenty of ways you can play with Team Ben there. Colin with the eight to take a lead. They haven't had a lead yet. Big game. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Whoa. 
You could I, see his reaction. He thought he missed it. Yeah, I thought it was going to swing out. I thought he overcut it. But uh, I wanted to put the same team in that this year, but we all went up in Fargo. <laughs> so there will be no Team Ben this year. Darn. But I'm playing with um, Mark Downey. Oh, there's... And you're like, how did I fit a Fargo in there? Right? <laughs> Jared White. Jared's a regular here. Oh, I was going to say, I don't know if I know Jared. Yeah, he's here like every day. Nice. He's four. He was 4'10". Mm -hmm. Then he was 4'16 when we registered. I had to pay quick because we were 17'98. Lock it in. Yeah. Yeah, that's always It'll a fun, fun tournament. Yeah. 20 paid entries already. It's going to be great. It's, Hopefully they can get up to 30. That would be amazing Last if they minute got entries. to like 30. I know there's a lot of people who say they're going to play, right? Yeah. You know all pool players are. They are typically procrastinators. Warren, with a little bit of heat on that cue ball, just came back a little too far. He had that six in the side. Is that is he shooting low ball? He is. Uh, yeah. He came off that bottom rail and hit yeah. the window between the 11 and 10, I guess. Or, sorry, the 9 and 10. I think he was, like, almost trying to move it. Or do you think he was trying to just, like, run into a ball and be on <laughs> yeah. it? The side? Yeah. It's hard to say. It was tough from where he was. It's a little speed. Even if you could cut this in, the eight is like in the worst spot. Not favorable for sure. I don't know what you do here. You just go for the long rail kick just to not give ball in hand. I think, can you see the side of it? I don't know. It's going to be, it's got to be a sliver. That's all you would can. need to cut it. But then you're losing the cue ball and yeah, you could I, possibly scratch in that corner pocket. Yeah, I definitely could scratch. He's in, he's in big trouble. You're probably right to just kick it and try not to give up ball in hand, and then just hope, because it's probably going to stay there, which isn't a bad spot for it. It's hard for them to play safe when it's right there, you know. Yeah. It's always tough when you put yourself there too. That's the worst. It's almost forgivable when your when your opponent gets lucky and leaves you tough like that, but. Two rail kick in the side. No, not happening. Who do we have on the left table? Is that is that Buck with the orange glove? <clears throat> yeah, Buck's got that real nice orange glove. Yeah, it's bright. I told him earlier when he missed a ball, I said it, it was the glove. <laughs> it's the Oilers colors, right? <laughs> yeah. He's a big Oilers fan. I like to bug Oh, him. is he? Yeah, I like to bug Oh, him. well. Respect level just went down Too bad, notch. right? Yeah. <laughs> one notch. Oh, but there's a good shot. Is he ever hitting the ball good, though? Yeah. His last rack was real nice, too. He's been playing a lot, too, these days. He's just one of those players just getting better every time, you know? Every time I see him play, he's a little bit better. Or a lot better. Look, we got Grant in the chat there. The Zempster. He is, uh, he actually just called, so he's back in the van, driving back to the Airbnb. They just finished up packing up the booth mm -hmm. in Louisiana. You mean he's not going to stay and watch the final? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. He's probably had enough of. Most people would. But... Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think most people would. <laughs> no, not most people that do what he does. they like, get me out of there. How do I get out of here? Where's the dinner table? You know? Yeah. Time to eat. Probably hasn't ate right for like a week. I don't know. You'd think in Louisiana they've got some pretty good food. It's just, I guess, depends on whether he can get out. And yeah, to just go get some time food. to eat. Oh, I'd never thought of that, though. Yeah, I bet the food is like awesome there. Hey? Yeah. If you like eating large portions of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if you want 3,000 of something, <laughs> don't eat Louisiana food. <laughs> Okay, looks like tie ball game again. Warren got back there. I didn't see what happened, but I guess he could give up ball in hand, and it was it was safe. Maybe he knew that when he two railed the kick. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, Mike's in trouble. Is he? Oh no, he's still got the four ball, but I think he he intended to try to get on that six, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, this actually lays pretty good if you just go four and then the ball on the side. I can't tell if it's five or the three, but I think four, five, one, six, eight. 
It just lays. Yeah. They just connect not bad. too well to knock not it bad. out. Be hard to knock it out here. Assuming this isn't razor thin. Ooh, if you like spicy, yeah, of course, Louisiana. They like their spice, right? Grand don't like spicy. No? <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> so Grant's out for good Louisiana food. So, like, did did he lose weight after China? <laughs> he didn't. No? He didn't. So I wonder if he lost weight after Louisiana then. No, he said, he fortunately, the unfortunately, he was staying at a five-star hotel, so they had lots of great food. Yeah. But 95% of it was still Asian food. Yeah, he couldn't eat. So he had Good the 5%. same breakfast yeah. every morning, the same lunch and dinner, mm -hmm. and it was the same pasta for lunch and dinner because yeah. everything was... Well, because they're not catering to... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So... Oh, that's fine. He didn't starve, but he was definitely ready for something different that's by good. the time he came home. I think low left spin here for Mike to hold this one. Yeah, he did good, good there. Weight, good weight, good weight. Really good. You don't want to put the cue ball on the rail like he did, but you almost have to to hold the ball. So he did good there. Almost the best you could do there. Yeah, and it's only seven foot table, so you don't worry about the cue ball on the rail too much there, as long as you're not trying to play shape, right? That was a good out. That was a real nice out from Mike. Good out from uh, the good, bad, ugly. Good shot from Derek over there on the right side table. He might have a shot at breaking some balls out here. Grant says ultimate pool is a great event, but he's looking forward to a night off. Yeah, I bet. I'm looking forward to a night off. I don't know when <laughs> it's going to happen, but sometime, someday. Me too, but day. I don't have one planned for the next little yeah, while. Exactly. There's always going to be something. Yeah, that was a little tough from Derek. What's happened here? Is he leaving anything? What has he left? Two. What is that? Two. The corner? Yeah. He does have the two or the four, whatever that ball is up there. But what's after that? Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking is like cause you can only run into those balls. I don't think you can avoid those balls. Is that the one ball right beside where oh, he's at? Oh, my goodness. He's got the three. That changes everything. That's going to open everything up nice, too. Then all the balls go. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. He's going to play one so pocket small. with all of these balls, though, except the one and the eight. Yeah, he's going for the three-day drive, eh? <laughs> Driving but, the van back to Spokane. But off for a few weeks? That's pretty good. A few is good. Kind of. One is no good. A couple is not very nice, but a few is nice. <laughs> Hopefully you make the most of it. Don't just work the whole time. <laughs> we'll see. Jay, Jay made me a little uh, tester of his hot and sour soup. Have you tried it yet? Ooh. No, I'm not big on tofu, but I'm sure you wouldn't even taste it in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's I've been so told. Good. You know me. I'm like Grant. I'm oh, like, yeah, and it's a little spicy. You don't like, like spice. No, I'm good. You're it's got, like, it's you're got like weird really stuff in it. Oh, my God. I'm like, uh, where's the bread at? <laughs> 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 Give me some potatoes. Yeah, meat and potatoes. Yeah, just the meat and potatoes. Garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not none of that. <laughs> this is none of that. We've added a couple things to the menu, like this the hot and sour soup and the adobo mm -hmm. spring rolls and uh we added deep fried pickles and matzo sticks i haven't tried those try to mix yet. it up a little you know i haven't tried those yet i that should be on my next taste test yeah. list try them out it they, they've all been good sellers yeah yeah the soups the soup's a good one right people like the spicy well, filipinos you know, like the spice right yeah I, actually i think asians like spice right we <laughs> normally like a little bit of spice but you know when you come to like a pool room you're you, sometimes you're just looking for something that's not deep fried right. greasy heavy you know you just need a little a little something that's why we try to make a couple of those things this you know yeah. the hot and sour soup the ramen soup right mm -hmm. yeah i'm i'm big for that i don't want to eat 
you know, I don't think I feel good or play good pool after something heavy and greasy. Heavy. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to have some options, you know, when you're playing big stuff, if yeah. you're just hanging out of the pool room, hitting balls with your buddies and yeah, who cares? There's only so many salads you can eat, you know? Yeah, that is right. You can only eat so many veggie plates and mm -hmm. <laughs> looks like some good work from Al here on the right side table. He's hitting the ball real nice. Yeah, he picked that table apart. Al Johnson, we got to watch him a little bit at the Indigenous Games last year, last summer, where he won the seniors division. Man, did he play good. Yeah, he did. Just ran out everything. And this is such a great match. 5-5. Five, five. Al's Anybody's. been playing good for a long time. Yeah, he's one of those guys. He's just Every time you see him playing, he, he's just knocking them in. Grant said he hasn't lost any weight because he's been eating bread all the time. Yeah. <laughs> That's what keeps my figure up. <laughs> it's got to be the bread. Otherwise, I'll wither away to nothing. <laughs> right. Yeah, you can't afford to lose any weight. No. That's why Your pants would fall right off. Started drinking those protein shakes because with the running, there's no way. I have to start eating a lot more or something, right? Otherwise, I'm going to lose too much weight. Just sweat a lot running, right? Colin looking like balls all go. He doesn't need to move anything, but he's got a tricky shot here. The four into the side, then the five in the top right, two in the side, the three, eight. He could maybe go three, then two, then eight, but I mean, he could shoot the three next. Oh, I was just going to say, I'd be playing, trying to hit this uh, window for the three ball next. Might have been, and that's the thing is he might have been trying to do that, but trying too hard to do that. Well, I mean, he got there. Yeah. And and At the just, end of the day, he did get yeah, there. Just taking the eye off the, the pot a little bit. A lot of times, you try to just maybe be way, way more towards making the ball than the position. Because you kind of land somewhere, you know? You have a shot on the five, you have a shot on the two. You just you land in between, but you make sure you made the ball, right? If you had to get on the three there, then for sure you try to get on it, but. Ooh, that's Ooh. not the rub he was looking for. Don struggled a little bit in this match from what I've seen. It's early, still a bit early. It's only through round two, but this is his third game. Depends on your perspective, too. I think Don's been here since like 10 or 11 o'clock, 11 or 12 this morning. Uh, oh, no, they <laughs> played the 2 p.m. match, but yeah, he came early. He was here at like 12. They were hitting balls. Smart teammates, right? Yeah early to get the eyes adjusting and playing some. Oh, he spun that in nice, but now what? It's kind of digging a hole, you know? I don't know if I would have went for that because I don't think that ball can push into the free very often, right? It's all, it's almost always going to go back there and then you're just going to be, now, now you're trapped. Yeah, like I mean, he's got that, what is that, 11 in the side? Yeah. And it's got some angle on it. He's have to. He'd have to play it with some speed to come off the right to the back to the left to kind of zigzag back. But jacked up over a ball. Yeah, and then you're not much. even guaranteed shape. You know. Saw Derek's super follow through on the break on the right side table there again, and didn't make a ball. But he is going for it. He leaned into that one. Yeah, he's been breaking the balls really good, getting you know like good impact, good spread, just not uh, not potting anything. And so somebody in this match is struggling. I don't know who it is. It might have been Jackie that pulled herself because Warren was sitting this match. But now oh, maybe. we're getting to see Warren play. And they have been kind of just like sitting one player, not typically pulling someone. They just sit a player the whole match. Yeah, right? yeah. I, you know, I'm kind of, I, I favor that to be honest, because Sit whoever match, yeah. whoever that, that spare is or whatever doesn't isn't able to get any traction if they're in and they're out. That's right. Like Warren now, he, he's in in game three. The yeah. player he's playing has like maybe won two games in this match. Yeah. And Warren hasn't even hit a ball. You know, it's it's tough. Yeah. But if somebody's struggling enough, then they got to be not too stubborn and pull themselves. Look at this. How could that have worked out worse for him? Yeah, I was just going to say, <laughs> <laughs> that was that was not great. That was worst case scenario. And just, he's nice and tight to the back of that 7-2. Like he might only have two rails over there where he's looking just to make contact. 
Like, how, how do you make a ball? How do you get safe? There's, there's not a lot you can do there. Calling that one in the side. Okay, so he does have the other side rail. That's a little bit of uh, breathing room, you could say. Colin nudges the four. Man, how good is he playing? He's just playing better every time. Uh oh. Oh, no rail. Uh, yeah, yeah. Got it. He was close, though. He got rail. closer than I thought he was going to. That was a tough shot. I didn't think that he was going to, that he had that angle. So you see Colin on the left here. He's a little worried about the 11. He's got to draw this one off two rails, but. If he doesn't get enough draw, he's going to go into the 11. He might play it at a speed where if he gets the rub off the 11, he's still okay. Jacked up like that, too. It just makes it way harder. Yeah, look out, 11. Oh. oh, he snuck around it. That was really Perfect. good. That was really good. I didn't know he could, he could even make that happen. Because if he goes into the 11, the 8 ball is huge, right? Yeah. Man, he, he did really good there to get around that 11. That was, that was super tough, jacked up like that. Good shot. And that's smart. The way he hit that shot oh. is smart. Everybody would try to hold that underneath, you know? And he just came right across it. He's not taking no for an answer, you know? Mm -hmm. That way he never misses the ball. He's always got a shot on the eight. And you just pop this, you know? You don't have to be straight in. Yeah, he's hitting them nice. Back and forth they go. So I had the final scheduled for 6.30. I'm not too far off. Not bad. Not as good as if I let you schedule the tournament than it would have been. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. But it was good you were here to help because I was like, how am I going to... <laughs> play and run the stream and just need a little bit of filler it's like yeah gonna need some help gonna need somebody to mark a match eventually while i'm trying to run out it's all good that was perfect looking good here on the right side table don't have to move any balls that's what you're always looking for if you can just pick them apart without moving anything they all go these last three are going to connect together really nice. Can land right in between all three of them on this shot. And in a perfect world, you shoot the one next. And you shoot the three, the four, the eight in the side. In a perfect world. Little top, little left. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going to be tight to it. Yeah, he's in big trouble. More left. I think he maybe overcut it a bit was what happened too. So if he hits it a little thicker, then the spin maybe grabs a little more and the cue ball goes to the left. You need to go between the four and the 14 with the cue ball towards that left side pocket. But A little slower or a little hotter, he would have been all right. Yeah, even he if... He hit it perfect to even, land on that one. Yeah, even on the angle he was on coming between the eight 14, if he just hit a little more firm. Mm-hmm. Just nudge the one a bit. He would have been on the three. He's got to kick this one in. Yeah, he's seeing the right shot. That's half the battle. Pick the right choice. All well, gotta... your options are limited here. Oh, definitely. Some players will try to get cheeky and find some safety here, but it doesn't work. You got to go for it here. Oh. And you're always going to get close like he did, right? You yeah, should favor yourself off. to get close. He wasn't off by much there. Sometimes you can just really laser in because you know you're going to get close, so you just feel it, you know? See, so guys kick those balls in here and there. 6-5. What a match these guys are having. This is great. Winner's going to play Who Ate My Rice in the final. Those guys are going to be real tough to beat, especially twice. And they just refueled too. They just they just ate a bunch of rice. <laughs> I mentioned it, <laughs> not the rice, but I mentioned the refuel. I said it's sometimes nice when you win the hot seat, you get time for dinner. You know. Yeah. Recharge. The other, other teams are trying to snack in the middle of a match, right? Yeah. And those guys, yeah, they were refueling the rice. Who ate LP's rice? Man, 
How did he land in that spot on the right side table? Just perfect speed. Warren just in the worst spot he could be. Perfect speed. He's going to play safe here. Can't do anything else. He does have a little bit of breathing room with the one doubled up on the three. So as long as you don't leave him the three here, then he should be in theory okay. Can't really leave him above the four with where the cue ball oh, is he anyway. Didn't, he didn't move three. Did he need to? I feel like it's not really. Well, that five ball on the other table. Yeah, yeah. sorry, the five ball. The f and I think that one to the one is tricky. Can he see the one right now? Mm. Okay, so that ball goes in the side. He's under hit this a bit, has he? No, he's perfect. He's as good as he could be. All right. Hitting the ball good, this Warren Lindland. So do you come around? How do you hit this one ball here? Do you yeah. come around for the eight ball on the bottom right, or do you try to come to the back side of it? Little top, little left, eight in the same pocket. Oh, man. See the track it's on? Yeah, yeah. And that I way you, you can be a little more sure about the one ball, right? Got it. This worked good, though, too. But you got to be brave to hit it at that yeah. speed. He was. He's hitting the ball good, so he should be brave. When you're feeling the speed, you do that. That was nice. Wow, what a match. This is so fun to watch. I'm enjoying this. Looks like, yeah, worst case scenario, Warren left him the three. Yeah, Derek's going to have to shoot the one to get on the eight, but that's fine. He's naturally going to have angle because he didn't land straight on the four. Six, six, race to 13. Halfway, feels like they might go the whole way. And we've seen some hill hill battles in this tournament. My team was part of one and Joshua clutched it for us. He was really great as an anchor. He's, uh, yeah, I, I knew it, I knew it. Plays good under pressure. <clears throat> he uh, he played fantastic during that Moscone Cup team event we had. Oh, yeah, that's right. So that's I, right. I was like, this is the guy. He's going to be the anchor. And I kind of I put him there a bit during the season. Mm -hmm. He played in the last spot. It didn't mean anything in the season, right? Yeah, yeah. But he was the last guy to play, you know, last guy out there. Yeah. Did he, good. He's got what it takes. Some people have it. Some people don't have that, that last game bottle, you know. They just can't. Can't hold the nerve. They can play awesome, but they have to get in their own way too much, right? Tough eight ball on the right here, but I do favor Derek to make this. I think the cue ball goes not in the side pocket unless you draw it. Yeah. I think you just hit this with top. top. It's okay. Make the pot with top. You're fine. Just make the ball. Often that's the way we like to make it anyway. Let the cue ball roll. He's overcut. got it. Yeah, he overcut oh, it. Overcut it. Yeah. Yeah, he knew it right away. Could hear some yells. I don't know if it was from him missing it. <laughs> or if it was from Warren's teammates going, yeah, better get out now, bud. Is that Margaret in the final? No. No. Margaret didn't go. Oh, okay. This is uh, Tiffany Brock, Michelle McDermott. Okay. In the, I think it looks, looks like the ladies' final. Yep. 2-1, race to 7. Looks like, I believe. Yeah, good. Yep. Good. Ultimate pool final, guys. They got a free stream. Another thing I love about them. Yeah. They're not trying to pay-per-view us. That's not in their plans in the future. No. Good. Good. No. It was like I could see his vision a little. He's like eight ball Olympics. I'm like pretty sure he'll never pay-per-view it, but it's always good to, to ask. 
because that's the same vision. It's like mm -hmm. you want to grow pool. Pay-per-viewing it ain't doing nothing. No. It's actually probably doing more damage than good because yeah. they think, well, these greedy people are trying to make a quick buck right now mm -hmm. off of this thing that's not even worth paying. You know, like, yeah. so it might even set us back a bit. For sure. Mike missed the ball up the rail there on the left side table, but it was tough. Anytime you got that ball frozen on the rail, it's just super tough to get it by that side pocket. I don't think he missed it by much. And Warren with a pretty good chance. What's happening here, though? Does this ball pass the other one into the corner? I think it does. Shooting it pretty quick. But it can't be the whole pocket, right? It looks like he's got the whole pocket. We'll see. You got to hit it good, though. I think he's maybe got half. Ooh, he hit it nice. That right down the perfect. middle. That oh, was a sexy ball there. Really hard not to clip that 10 on the way by. And this for 7-6, and, and big for 8-ball express. are going to be glad they put Warren in for this game. He's done his job. Well, not yet, but I was pretty sure he was going to make that. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say that. Cue ball. Like Rattles cue ball. it, scratches. Damn. Not today, he says. Well, it's a nice out. That was pretty good, yeah. Quick poster here in between. Shots on that other table. Jam up quick before he shoots. Perfect timing. <laughs> I think I sharked him, though. I think I sharked him with the poster. <laughs> Al's wondering what happened there. He went over to look, said, how did I miss that ball? Mike's going to get an extra chance. Does he have angle to get over here where he's looking? And making this 15, I think, is doable, but I don't know if he can get the cue ball anywhere good. I tend to just kind of think maybe just go forward and you're just going to have to take the cut. Oh, what is this, nine ball next? Yeah. Can't tell what side of the ball he's on, this 15. Yeah, it was on the wrong side. He did exactly what you said. He should take what he can get. That's all you can do, just make sure that you can see your next ball. Smart. What he has to know is that this shot is not very controllable. And if you miss it, you can't hammer your cue on the ground. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those shots, right? You can't be, you're not 90% here. You're, you know, really good players are maybe 80% here. Because it's just a lot of distance. It's tough. And you can't hit it hard or medium. You have to hit it kind of slower, right? Man, he hit it Wow. Perfect. That was he great. Perfect. Mike's had a great season, too. He's just been he's been all over it. And a bit of a new addition to this team, too. Like, a lot of these guys have played together quite a while. Derek and James and, you know, Don. And, mm -hmm. But they didn't always have Mike out there. Nope. Mike kind of got picked up this year, and I think they probably loved having him, right? Yeah, he's a good pickup. Been hitting the ball great. Seven all. What a match. I think I'm going to go do a quick score check. Use the bathroom quick. Sure. Just to make sure. Yeah, I'm going to have to take off here pretty soon. So Perfect. Eat your soup. Yeah, I will do that. Before it gets before cold. Before we go. <laughs> I just wanted to have a, a taste. They say it's good, but they're not you. So. <laughs> I will give you a good review. Got Warren racking on the left table here. Derek Anderson at the table on the right. There's been some great pool being shot today. All of these teams deserving to be in the finals.
A little second ball break there from Warren. Makes a ball. And everything looks pretty good on that left table. We will see what he opts to take here. I think low ball looks good just because of that 5-12 situation in that corner. Both tables seem to be just a little on pause as they're deciding what they're doing here. Looks like Warren has opted to take the low ball. Was able to pick off the four. And then, not really on to anything good here. Combination it looks like. Seven five. Oh, just a little light. That would have been a really nice shot. Just a little bit more speed. They're going to let James see this table here. 12's in a little bit of a precarious spot. Nothing really down there that he can kind of open it up with. Uh-oh, uh-oh, tracking. Scratch the cue ball, comes around two rails. Scratches in the side, that is unfortunate for James. Derek Anderson on this eight ball, it looks like. for the win for Good, Bad, and Ugly. I was wondering how he got out of that, Scott. Last I looked, he had that one two ball kind of in an awkward position. It took my eye off that right side table for a second. So he made the jump. It was perfect. How are we doing on the score there? Got it. Bang on. Not sleeping on this match. Maybe the next one. Getting tired. <laughs> it's been a long weekend. It's been a long, uh, a lot of weekends, yeah. Yeah. Back to back to back. Yeah. But it's what we love, right? It's true. It's what I keep telling myself anyway. It could be worse. It could be doing something that you absolutely hated. I know, so it's right? A, it's a good thing that you love this. That's right. All the things that go with it. I've done a lot of jobs that I absolutely <laughs> hated. It's not fun. <laughs> not if you fun. love what you do, you never work. That's what they say. It's true. But it is a lot of work. But it's still a lot of work. <laughs> It doesn't take the work out of it. It's still work. <laughs> Who are we kidding? Yeah. Who are we kidding? You just love it, but it's work. Steph's feeling me because Jam Up's busy. Real busy. Real busy. Lots and of big she, things coming up, hopefully. She has a full-time job outside of that. 
I have a grown-up job, a side job, the mom job. Yeah. I've got all the jobs. Yeah. Speaking of mom job. <laughs> <laughs> I said next year I'm going to play with four junior players in this league. Ooh, that'll be fun. I'm not actually going to, oh. but I said it would be funny <laughs> if I did. Because they get twice as good in one year. Yeah, yeah. So well, they're they could, little sponges. They could go from like a 250 Fargo to a 500. That and I could sick. be playing like a thousand points over the Fargo by the end of the year. That right? would be sick. Yeah, you never know. Maybe one day. Darcy joining in the chat. Welcome. Yeah, Scott saw the jump there. That was nice from Derek. I just caught out of the corner of my eye there. Derek Anderson been playing super all season. Let's see, does Warren on the left side table, does he have this three by the two or is he playing a combo? He was playing the combo. That was a hard shot. And these games are becoming really important. This is when the match starts. <laughs> The rest has just been filler. Now it's especially up 8-7. You win these two games, 10-7, you start to like maybe pull away a little bit. You can, can make them think about losing, right? One of the teams is just waiting to get a little traction, you know? Yeah, nobody's Just get some it. momentum. Good, bad, and ugly at 3-1, at that was it. Hasn't been a two-game lead since. And safety action, keeping stuff tied up on the right there. James needs to get out here on the left side table. He's much needed by his team. Always helps when you see your team captain win it, you know? <laughs> team captain's doing his part. He's not just filling out score sheets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking good here. These balls link together well. Just touch this 14 in soft and then the 9 in and the 13 the other side. It's kind of roll, stop, stop. What's he going to do? 13 first? No. Oh, think, no. There yeah. is. Wrong this, angle. Yeah, it just looks a little deceiving sometimes for sure. Especially James being a lefty, throw us both off. I think Warren's a lefty too, so it was a real confusing game. And these lefties are super sharp all the time. Don't remember seeing a left-handed player that played bad. They're always yeah. good. Maybe that has to do with like the left eye dominant, the right eye dominant, you know? ton of studies on why but they think it's because they use the other side of their brain better as they get older left-handed people awesome. use the opposite side of your brain a lot right yeah i don't know i don't think they really know <laughs> who really knows nine seven good bad and ugly first two game lead since three one they're starting to get some traction as steph said somebody trying to get some I like how they're chatting about the out after, and they're both good friends. So they're like, hey, what would you have done here? What would you have done there? This is how we learn together, right? They're all a bunch of great guys. After 8-Ball Express beat us, they spent about 10 minutes on the table together talking about one rack at the end. Yeah, Jackie's in rack. In a game that didn't even finish. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Jackie's rack. Well, because it was one of those, you know, tic-tac-toe strategy safety I just matches. It was, like, it was so great. Yeah. And my teammates were like, they're still talking about that. I'm like, that's how you learn. Mm -hmm. That's how you get better. That's exactly how. Like, you have to feed off each other. What yeah. would you do? What would I do? Hey, maybe we meet in the middle. And, oh, that makes the most sense. I can't believe I didn't see it, right? Yeah, totally. And oftentimes it is. It's just like something super obvious, you know? Yeah. But you can't see it from when you're at the table. You see it from the camera view every time, right? Mm-hmm. I know that was a great match. And I think Jackie played it right. Oh, she did for sure. Yeah. Jackie's just, had so much experience playing with those, you know, little safety matches. I knew as soon as it ended up like that, we were in big trouble. 
Because, yeah, she's got the experience yeah. in that. Well, and, and, you know, like, not to stereotype, but I think women are better in safety game scenarios in 100%, general. 100%. 100% correct. They're a little bit more patient. Absolutely right. They're a little bit more patient. And uh, um, whereas I think men, because of the, you know, the, the need to win and the testosterone mm -hmm. and just swing it's for the fences and just yeah. get out... They're a little bit more aggressive. Of course. Which sometimes you need, but in those safety games, you kind of like, it's just the who's the, the most patient? Is. Yeah. Well, and the other factor is the break. Mm -hmm. So because the break tends to not be as wide open in the ladies game, there's more safeties played. Right. Thus, they get more practice at it, and they're just it's better true. at it, right? And Jackie, you could see she knows the strategy well. Oh, yeah. Real she's well, right? had her fair share of safety games. And I had players on my team that don't know the strategy at all. Right, and they're just start like even John. He's shooting real good, but he didn't know his way out of that. Right, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He, he was not gonna get. He out made of that a couple well. of really nice shots. So like kicking that seven. Yeah, and he was maybe gonna behind. have to bank the eight or something. But like he was in big trouble. Yeah, she was gonna outmove him. Oh, for sure. Lot. She. He will sure. outshoot her. She'll outmove him. What a nice game, right? That was a really nice game. Yeah, I like that. So, both players at eight ball express at the table here they got a chance to tie this one up again al on the left he's got some work for sure the 14 is in absolute jail but buck on the right he's looking good and he's been hitting the ball good i was just thinking that like he's what a massive improvement for him well you didn't catch but i told the viewers too uh, warren told me he's been helping like a bunch of junior players out there Oh, nice. And he, like, organizes it all himself. And if they can't get there, he, like, helps them get there, get, organizes rides. Aww. If they can't afford it, he's like, don't worry about it. That's so great. He's, like, taking the reins on the next generation, even though he's super young, you know? Mm -hmm. it's like, oh, that's great. But what a big heart. He knows he's going to. There's gonna, not a lot of people that would do that. And he knows he's going to play for a long time, right? Well, and so what's nice good. is that he, this is something that he can do with his dad. Mm -hmm. And his you whole know, family. Yeah, like, they, they, and they it's brought them play. really close. Absolutely. Playing on the same team. How much fun is that? Miss eight ball in the side. Beautiful. Here's dad yell wow. there. <laughs> Good stuff. That was a nice shot. And Al got that 14 in the open. How did he do that? One more tough ball, but I think that ball goes off the rail, off this hanger down here in the bottom right corner. Let's see if we can single screen view it in a moment here. I think this ball goes off the rail, off the ball, pretty easy in. It's mm -hmm. just a matter mm -hmm. of where to get the cue ball for shape, but I think you can just go one rail nice and soft and, and play the eight in the top right, or top left, rather. Don't do anything crazy, because you don't have to hit this hard to make it anyway. Oh, he mm. never caught the four. He saw it, though. That's what he was playing for. <laughs> Seeing it's half the battle. Yeah, he did see it. Wallen, what a missed opportunity to tie this up. Now Warren can retake that two-game lead. It's so important late in this match. He's going to shoot the two and try to get on the four right away. I saw the plan, but he's got the three to get on the four, so he doesn't need to worry about it too much, I think. Maybe he wasn't trying to get on the four there. You think maybe he would have gone a little bit more forward, but like he's all right. I thought he was trying to stun follow and maybe just didn't get there. Yeah, he's shooting the three of the four. Works perfect. He's got a nice angle here. Just got to get the cue ball off the rail a bit. That looks good. Shoot the five in the top left. I don't think you have to get caught up shooting the five in the side. The eight comes into play a bit there. But it's hard to tell from this angle. He would know better. Maybe middle table is fine to shoot the five in the side. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. He's okay. <laughs> I was a little worried for a second there. And a little I, push on that six helped a little. I think he has just enough angle to cheat this too. He could go forward with the cue ball. Or he could, like, power draw it back. Maybe even just I stun just, it over a little bit. I, yeah, I was just going to say, I like just sliding over for the five in the top left. He might not have that. He might might be needing to go forward a little. 
can see him take another look. Maybe the five goes in the top right. You could just soft draw back. That might work. I don't so love I'm that shot because you're jacked up on that rail. You're going to be on the rail again. Yeah. yeah. You're trying to get from the five to the seven with the cue ball on the rail is not easy. Yeah. Okay. You cheated it nice. You can shoot the seven first here if you can see it. I think you can. Go back and forth. Shoot the five in the lower left. A bit scary. A bit touch and go, but I think he's got it. A little side to side action here. Yeah, don't under hit this one. He under hit it. He's getting second prize. <laughs> That's how he drew it up. Two way. I don't think he played the two way there. No, it happens. It just happened. Yeah. It happens. Well, Al is going for the jump cue, and this is real tough. I think you got to kick this one in. You can't jump this one. Yeah, okay, he is going to kick it. This is actually super makeable. That second rail is big. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, he played it with some inside spin. Yeah, he just mishit it a little. I think maybe just because of stroking between the 8-5 kind of stuff. Maybe made him mishit it. So it wasn't Jackie who got pulled. It was Larry. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was trying to figure out who it was. They're not pulling Colin. <laughs> no, definitely not. Colin could lose all his games, and he's going to have to just suck it up, right? <laughs> I like how Warren played that. That's like the most foolproof. You shoot the closest pocket, and now you shoot a hanger, and then... The ball's in the middle of the table, right? I think the alternative that, to that, though, you could put, you know, top five to the top left with a little bit of top. And which is is just as easy, too, right? I guess it just depends if you're more comfortable oh. with, like, the, the draw. There's no way he was playing the eight in the top left there. <laughs> Worked out. He, he'll he admit that he wasn't, but he landed <laughs> straight in on it. <laughs> Gotta love when that happens, right? 10-8. Good, bad, ugly looking to get a rematch of the A-Final against who ate my rice. And we know who ate LP's rice is sitting over there. It's Ray El Capitan. All 10,000 of them. All 10,000 rice. 10,000 rice to win $10,000. The winner of the It's the magic LP number. 2800 Fargo Cap playoffs going to get ten grand. Great payouts. It just worked out great. I kind of started at the bottom of the payout, mm -hmm. right? And then just, okay, up by 200. Good increments, Up by yeah. four. Oh, yeah. And then, and then it just worked perfect. And then perfect. I added it all up. I was like, oh, perfect. <laughs> that was too easy. And then I just had to, you know, move it around a yeah. little. But, but it was good. And a good sign for next year. And if we can get 16 teams, we can beef up. You know, the bottom end a little yeah. bit. First place would be 10,000 again. It'd be great, right? Colin with the break over here on the left. He's been hitting head ball, but he's got a deadly second ball break too. I wonder if he goes to it here. Team really needs a win out of him. He can't lose this game. If he loses this game, they're in a world of trouble. Getting close to the end. It's hard to put so many wins in a row when well, the other team is so close to the end, you, you know? You just can't make an impact now. You only get to play, like, one or two games, right? Yeah. You can't even make that much of a statement. You can get it to, like, 10-9, 10-10, and then you got to rely on them, right? So you really got to make sure, right? <laughs> Warren Lindland just messaged me. It was a two-way shot. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's going to message me in another minute. <laughs> And tell me if he was playing the eight in that corner <laughs> or the side. He was playing in the side. <laughs> That's great. Don't be defensive, Warren. You played it perfect. It was great. <laughs> He's definitely just you know, joking, too. It was super funny. I'm glad he's like, <laughs> go back, listen to it right away. <laughs> Watch what happened. I love it. Try to make a quick adjustment on the fly, right? See what I did wrong there? Maybe I can, you know figure it out maybe ben will tell me <laughs> <laughs> should have hit it with top left warren no i don't know 
did everything right. Just, you know, got a bit of a weird rub, hit the ball a little thick. It happens. It worked out. Yeah, just how you drew it up. So, Mike, what has he got here? Is that, looks like he's got the 14. That's it, hey? It does get him on that other stripe. If he can make this one thread the needle, oh, he does. Wow. Good shot. Great shot. How much angle does he have? Looks like Colin made a ball, but he's got a tricky little opener. But if he can make it, low ball looks pretty good. Maybe this just slips right through there. Oh, okay. I thought he was maybe trying to play a little in-off or something. Colin on the left looking real good. Ball's lay nice there. Does the seven also slide by there? I think so. No, now he's looking at the combo. Okay, that complicates things a bit. Does he even have enough of the seven to play that? No, he, now he's going for rail and then the four. Hmm. Tricky. Now Mike with a real tester here. Look at this shot on the right side table. This 12 in the lower left. Yeah, that's such a hard shot. And he couldn't have put the 12 in a worse spot because that gives Jackie a couple freebies. Mm -hmm. She can use the five for the out ball to the eight, you know. Save the insurance for last. Six, three, two, five. So then it's all about this game on the left. Yeah, Colin try to play that little in off. It didn't didn't work out, right? Cameo watching and listening as they drive back from Calgary. It's good to see you yesterday, pal. Drive carefully, Cameo. Yeah, just listen, okay? <laughs> no watching for you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Dark and Watch, you just listen. <laughs> Was Haydar here too? I'm not sure. <laughs> he said, he said, uh, oh, he didn't say, yeah, as we. So oh, I just okay. kind of, I just assumed. Gotcha, maybe, gotcha. Maybe it's not. And going for 8-Ball Express, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh no, oh no. Ooh, what happened oh. there? Jackie almost scratched in the side. I uh, I was looking at the other table. I thought maybe Derek touched the ball with his hand or something. He made a good little shot, but he's got a whole bunch of work still. Uh, traveling with the wife. Okay, make sure the wife gives you the play-by-play, -play if we're not. <laughs> Tough little shot here for Jackie on the right. Yeah. The How do you get back for the eight? The pattern went a bit wrong, right? She needed to shoot the five last. Kind of got a little funny on the two and had to shoot the five first. And yeah, like you said, now how do you get back to the eight? Whoa, what a shot by Derek. Played that ball in with the other ball straight through. That was far away to do that too. That was a really good shot. It's hard to do. That's a tough shot. With follow is really hard to do. Usually doesn't even work with follow. I'm not even sure how he did that. Well, is she playing to the bottom right? I think she, she had no choice. Yeah, I think the bottom uh -oh. left uh -oh. put uh -oh. the cue ball in this side pocket. Yeah. Oh, did she horn hook him on that 12 ball? Maybe. Oh, man, maybe. At first glance, I thought, no, nah, he's got it. Okay, he's shooting pretty quick, so he does have it. But wow. Yeah, That's horn close. hook would have been devastating there. Derek misses that ball. That oh. was a big one because... They're going to pull ahead again. They could have tied it up with Mike's win here, 10-9. Oh, no, sorry, other way around. Other way around, 11-8. Yeah, they could, have, they could have put themselves on the hill, rather. They could have put themselves on the hill with Derek's win over there. Uh, they really need calling now, right? Mm-hmm. To apply some pressure. 
You gotta watch this one. You draw this one too much and you flick the 14 or the 1, and all of a sudden you're out of position. I think he needs to play it with kind of a stun with some inside, as crazy as it sounds, and get on the 7 next. I'm not sure what he can do here. Kameo, it's Derek Anderson on their team there. They have a whole bunch of Derricks. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of Derricks to choose from here. There's Derek Fuller, Anderson, and Fletcher wasn't here this weekend. They had some Derricks, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Pick a Derrick, any Derrick. Yeah, that's why I told the other team, you just go up to them and say, have a good game, Derek. <laughs> You're probably going to be right. <laughs> Who do I play? Obviously, Derek. Obvious. Is he looking at the one now here? Colin can see the one. That changes everything. I think he can. Because he could maybe send the cue ball into the 5-2 if it needs a little developing. Oh, oh. he's playing safe. He catches the, the 14. Chippy chip. That was smart because he blocked the 8. He kind of knew. That was perfect speed, and that was a nice shot. Yeah, he, he knew even if he didn't get cover behind the, you know, block in the 14, he was going to block the 8. The problem is Derek is a super player. He can definitely find a way to get on this 8 or bank it or do all kinds of things, right? <laughs> Lots of experience with Derek. Yeah, yeah. He knows his way around the table. This cut in the side is tough, though, if that's the opener. Cutting the 14 into the left side. Like, how do you get the cue ball Does free? it go to the corner? It might go to the corner. He just looked at it quick. I don't think it does. I think he's going to the corner. Oh, no. Side withdraw. Wow, what a stroke. Uh, it's just perfect. He made that look so much easier than it was. I think he had to play with like a little inside spin to get the cue ball around the six that way. He hit it good. That was a really good shot. So do you bank this 13 ball here? What is that, 13? Oh, he's got the nine here. Oh, that's the nine. Yeah. I see. It's got the nine. one ball. And he's looking at the 13 the side, but I don't know how you get on the eight from there. Scott Martin says, new team name, my other brother, Derek. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Crafty. Oh, this is good. What I, a nice shot that was. I think I'd rather be here than trying to shoot that ball on the side to get on the eight. That's just too hard, right? This, you can stroke this one harder. You know, you can move it a little more if you want. Might have to draw into it. Might be drawing into it. Can you draw past it? That would be fun. And then just shoot it in the same pocket. This he is was, tough. He's going to have to stroke this one pure. Yeah, he was really loading up there. I thought, just draw it. And if he catches like a bit of the side rail before the eight, he should just nudge it free. That's hard to tell from where we are, though. Especially with my tired eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, he, he did. went for it. Yeah. yeah, he did have enough to like pinch it almost to miss the eight completely and then shoot the eight in the same hole. He might have been trying to do that. Oh, it was a good try. It just made him more. It made him rattle the ball. Right. If he I think if he tries to go into the eight from the side rail first, I think he puts the ball right in the heart. I think he was maybe just trying to get below it and then that made him miss the ball. But. It was hard either way, that's for sure. Yeah, that was not an easy shot. No, that's 10 out of 10 hard from there. Ooh, look at that nice little shot from Buck on the right. Draw with inside juice to break that ball out. Sweet shot. He's got a lot more work to do. Yeah, it's a little messy on that table. Yeah. Definitely a lot of work over there. Should be noted, too, this team won PV playoffs, which is another league in Calgary. They won it last week, week before. Nice. Yeah. Obviously, you know, in their A division or whatever the mm -hmm. division was, was a high division. Not easy to win. Look out, cue ball. Uh-oh. Short side. Wow. 
He did not want to be there. Now Short he's got side a combo. to the combo, yeah. More safety. But I like the combo. It's pretty straight in, I think. It's tough. There's lots of distance there. Nailed it. Yeah, this guy's a nice sniper. Nice shot. This guy is a sniper. He don't miss. He loses his cue ball sometimes, but I haven't seen him miss for a while. <laughs> this window to the five ball is tight. I think he's perfect. He was just waiting for Buck on the other table. Yeah, he's just waiting for, for Buck shooting on the other side. Can't see because of the split screen. It looks like they got lots of room. What's the <laughs> problem here? But these tables are right beside each other. I, that was a tough shot because what's he going to do next, right? Yeah. He's going to shoot that ball off the rail off the eight and then what, right? Got nothing. No way out of town. Colin's going to get this to 11-9. Wow. Oh, <laughs> almost spoke too soon. That worked perfect. <laughs> he got a little closer than I thought he would. Tiffany won that one. All right. Ultimate pool champion has been crowned. Nice. Did they, they play the juniors yesterday? I assume. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the juniors are still to play. I'm always curious about that stuff now because, you know. Because we have our own. Start bringing our kids to these tournaments and mm -hmm. start whooping these Americans one of these days. <laughs> Show them how we play Canadian eight ball. That's right. Okay, this eight. Does it go in the corner? It looks like he's shooting in the corner. Should be fine either way. This guy is a pretty straight shooter. He ain't missing much. And they needed him there. That's a big win. James on the right side table, he's got big advantage here. He's just got to find a way to keep control. Don't do anything crazy. If I if I have ball in hand here, I'm going to shoot the 7 in the 14, make the 14. I'm tr literally trying to make his two free balls now. His two your ball in hand, you're going to take the 7 into the 14. If I can get the cue ball between the 5-7, I'm going to combo the 14 in. I see, okay. Yeah. Or or I put the cue ball like on the between the seven four. Try to send the cue ball in to make the fourteen. Try to make the fourteen. Because how do they ever get that ball free with only one ball left now, right? It's true. It just gives you a little more breathing room later on. He's gonna try to play a little in off here and free them and that might work too. Can't tell from where I am if that frees them. Does a twelve go into the eight? I almost don't wanna watch. Don't hit it too hard, James. Oh, okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Didn't open up. Did I, it open up? I no, I don't think so. I think the five goes on the side now, but he can't shoot it. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, I don't know if it does. And he'd love to shoot the six to go into it, but he can't. So I have to shoot the two and go into it again. And that's okay. This angle is not bad. If the five goes or the three five combo goes, then we might see him shoot the six yeah, and then the two and then that combo down there. It's tough. Jacked up over. Wow, that was a really oh, good shot. Wow. That was really, really good. That tells me the five goes or the combo goes. Or there's a bank that's dead, but I don't know. I feel like he should have went over here and looked before <laughs> if it's that close, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The problem being, what do you do, like, if the five goes, what do you do with the three after? So he well, might. he's pushing that three into the eight. Well, he's going to shoot it right now. Look out. I can't watch again. Don't hit it too hard. Oh, no. Oh. That was okay. super crafty. Wow. He played the billiard. He just used the three. I'm and not only, not only did he do that, he pushed the three over the hole. That, that was, was impressive. That was a pretty little shot James played there. Crafty. Very, oh, and the same guy. <laughs> you can see him put his hand like, what? The same guy? Same player. Same guy did that. It's okay. He's got to make one good shot. Eight's over the hole. Yeah. 
Left himself a little <clears throat> bit of a tougher shot here. I think he just rolls it too hard to jack up. Oh, he missed it by a lot, too. Look at the cue ball right in Middletown. But I not think, a terrible leave. I think he was maybe playing it that way. Yeah. You know, try to leave it in the middle. He's not leaving much if he leaves it there, right? Forward and, thinking. Hmm. Well, Delaney's got two shots here, in my opinion. He can bank the 14 into the corner where the two is. If it goes, great. You're on the other ball. If it doesn't, maybe plug the hole. The other option is you hit the left side of the 14, and you just leave the cue ball right where his chalk is. Yeah. Try to freeze it on the rail. And if he makes the bank, then he deserved it, right? Is there an opportunity to play off that 12 ball and, Under the eight. and sneak behind the 8? Too Tuck risky. It? Too high risk, yeah. Because you have to, it's too far to hit it with draw to control it over there. Yeah. You're more likely to scratch with Probably. the draw. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're kind of bashing that ball to who knows where. It might just move mm -hmm. the two. And but he played it right. He I actually really like the shot that he played. Yeah, he did it good. Not only that, but he pushed the 14, and I hope he saw it because that's a good shot. He pushed it to almost block the bank. He might have blocked the bank, and then James had to kick, but how yeah. smart is this shot? These guys mm, they play see it. pretty sparty. They see it good. James got a little unlucky. He put that two ball there. So I think uh, you're going to see Buck with another kind of free shot here. He's not going to take long to shoot this one. He, he already knows he can get safe, right? Is he trying to cut us in the side? No, oh, he's no. going to use this one to block or not block, but still not leave a shot, right? Yeah, that's not bad. But he'd rather that ball banked over here or something out more in the open, right? Oh, what a match. Oh, there's the other Derek. He's in the chat. Fletcher. Just in time <laughs> to watch his team maybe snap this one off, get too to the final. Too many Derek's. We got too many Derek's. We're full. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, Derek. We're full. No more rooms for Derek's. James kicks again, and that could be it. That could be it for that game. Buck with one shape shot required. Just got home, he says. What a guy, hey? <laughs> I'm not going to ask where he went, Derek. <laughs> oh, no. He missed the Oh, ball. wow. Rattled it. That's going to that's gonna stick with him for a bit. That might sting. But you know what? As, as hard as this sounds, that's going to be good for him. He, was, he took all the right shots. You just, like... <clears throat> It's really easy to have ball in hand. Look at the next ball. Yeah. Or you know what I mean? You're yeah. like, you have a makeable shot and you're just looking so much at the next ball. Lose your focus for a split second. And it's easy to rattle that ball. It happens yeah, to everybody. All of us. You know, but it's good. It's good. It happens to him while he's young. You can like, you know, learn. Sometimes you got to take just a little extra second. Just kind of like really make sure, you know. So if you're listening to this, Buck. He will. It was good for you. <laughs> it yeah. was it was for your own good. As much as it hurts, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Fletcher was in Edmonton for work. Okay, so mm. you didn't like. Go oh, to is that what we're calling it? You work? didn't like go to Vegas or anything, did you? Lame Edmonton, lame. Because I'm pretty sure a guy <laughs> in the Tuesday division he accidentally booked a trip to Vegas, like just a leisure trip. <laughs> really? Over playoffs, yeah. <laughs> And they were like, oh, good thing we have six players, you <laughs> dummy. And he's like, oh, whoops. You guys will still split the money with me, right? <laughs> yes, for sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so good, bad, and the ugly on the hill. On the hill. Looking for one more win to they close this gap. They know where to find this hidden ball. It's in that corner <laughs> where they put the bottom right corner on table seven. <laughs> If anybody's curious, some reason. Eats the eight ball a lot, too. It's weird. Why is it the eight? Probably because the eight is hit softer than most balls. Maybe. Right? So they roll it. It just rolls. And then wherever it's, you know, kind of getting stuck halfway in the track because it's going too slow. <laughs> I don't know what else it could be. Yeah, I don't know. You're... But it's the eight a lot, which doesn't make sense. The eight's the same as all the other balls, right? 
Hal just blocked his ball, put the three ball in behind the 13. That's gonna that's gonna hurt a little. On the cue ball behind the one, so he can't even see that. He can only see oh, that's the 13. The other one's the nine up there by the oh by the three. three six. Hard to see on this camera for sure, especially the split screen. Yeah, it's so small. You see. He doesn't have much from here. His only saving grace the four and that other ball there, probably 11? the 11, yeah, are tied up. So his opponent's got to do something, but, man, they need uh, a miracle now. they got to win all four. Four games left, they need all of them. And that's a lot of pressure. It's not easy to win all the last games, you know? Nope. Is he low ball? Oh, maybe Al is low ball. Ah, change everything. <laughs> Roll this one in, break out the four. No. He did good there. Caught play the, a little in off. Caught the edge, yep. He's going to have to play another in off. This ball doesn't go clean. It's got to go off the back rail, off the ball in. Oh, he's not even going to shoot it now. It's surprising he's not shooting three now. I guess he wasn't ready yet. Or maybe he couldn't see it. I thought he could see it. I thought he could see it too. Whose game is that? That's uh, Derek Fuller on the left. It's Derek Freddy Krueger. Isn't, uh, doesn't Gru have a shirt like that too? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Is it the shirt? Maybe it's the scarf. <laughs> oh, it is the scarf. <laughs> it is the scarf. And he's got the same haircut as he Gru. He has the same haircut. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have to tell Fuller about that, <laughs> the haircut. That's perfect. Oh, he nudged oh, that. He's, he's a blocker. He's got a blocker. He's going to be glad he didn't break that ball out like he was trying. So maybe the three doesn't go off the end rail off that ball in. That's, that's what I'm thinking is maybe, maybe why he didn't shoot it before. It's like not even an option. Maybe that ball is too close to the end rail. Camera view can be a little tricky. Deceiving. Man, in, in these spots, I try to run out as fast as I can and take a little pressure off the other game. <laughs> like if I'm on 8-Ball Express yeah, and I'm Al, I'm trying to like get through these balls so quick that Jackie doesn't even know what happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just so she's not always looking over at me to like see, yeah, yeah. is he going to win? It's like, don't worry about what I'm doing. I already won. <laughs> You play your game, right? Yeah. I'll play mine. Just try to shoot him fast, like win or lose. Is he almost going to say, does he have a window? Well, and look at this. He's perfect on the four to break the three. Ah, jeez. I thought maybe he would have played that off that. The nine and the other ball, whatever. It's 15 or that 15 or yeah. played it off the 15 to open up the three. I know. Oh. He's got to just miss the cue ball with the eight here. Yeah, the eight Just was in play. Look, he got power the through it. He got power the horn. It. He got shape off the horn. Did the eight tie up with the 11? And the eight ball goes into the, uh, side. the right side right or the side. top left. If it goes in the top left, he's okay. If it doesn't, getting from the one to the eight is going to be tough. So I might have to shoot the one first. Let's see what he does here. Jackie looking not bad over there. Balls lay good. This cue ball slows down. I think it might have ran a bit too far to stay on the left side of the eight now. Oh, it looked like they might be getting this one way closer for a second. Can she just clip the eight maybe? Mm. Uh, Al just powers in the threes a mile away from the one now. And now he has to play the eight in the right side. No way he's getting shaped to the eight in the top left unless you go around the world. He wants to just come off this bottom rail and go back to right where he was. Oh, oh wait. Unless you get a clip off the 13. It banks for sure, right? I think he's got it in the top left. Do you think it goes? I think it goes. It's super hard to tell. Or it's almost a natural bank, but either or, that was genius. 
That was a good little rubby off 13 there. They need a whole bunch of those. A jelly roll for Al. They need a whole bunch more of those. Can't feel bad about that. You got to just say, yeah, we'll take three more. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Thanks, Eli. We miss you too, buddy. Well, Jackie is going to be in big trouble here. Bank to the lower right to keep your team alive, I think. Can't play safe now. You only got one soldier left. It looks like they're in no rush to play the other game. Don't worry, guys. I got all night. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I do have all night, literally. Literally. I'll wait. This is your job now. If it's this exciting the whole time, then I'll stay for another day. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Yeah, she's looking at the shot that I said. This, she got bank this to the bottom right. That's all she got. These go sometimes. You just got to give it the best effort, you know? I always tell my teammates that. They come over and apologize. I'm sorry. I said, did you try? <laughs> yeah? Okay, then why are you sorry? <laughs> right? You're fine. Yeah. You're fine. If you didn't try, then you should be really sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody's out there not trying. Everybody tried. You try your hardest. It's all we ever ask of you. Tell my son that all the time, right? Yeah. <laughs> you just got to try your best. That's it. That's all it takes. Whatever happens, happens, right? That's what we're telling Tyler Steyer right now. <laughs> 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 to beat Chris Melling, you just have to try your best. Try your best. You know? Did they just start? Looks like rack one. Tyler shooting. Oh, she played a safe. I don't like that don't like that it can work but i don't like it i just think too many times they're not gonna let you see a better shot like if warren wanted to just roll straight into the four mm -hmm. it's, it's a big six ball yeah the six is huge if you're gonna play safe and you only have one ball left you better put it over the hole yeah that's your safe is that you put it over a pocket and you put pressure on them right I think she had to take a flyer at that bank in the lower right. and I just kinda, I think so, too. And maybe put it over the hole. Right? That's exactly what Warren did, but he didn't get far enough. He left her the side. She could back cut this one in the top right. Would be crazy. This he, is maybe harder than the bank that she just had. Yeah, he left her the edge of that 11. Oh, there's a little Tyler bio there. Hometown, Wisconsin. <laughs> Home of the cheese. Home of the cheese, two-time Moscone Cup champ. He's up one nothing. Ultimate pool. If you guys are wondering what we're talking about, <laughs> yeah, it's they, exciting. They started on the other table. Look at that, sneaky, sneaky guys. Mike already trying to close this one out. He says, "I ain't waiting around. Let's yeah. get to this final." Let's I just got get the uh, win. You know, I got 10k on the mind. He says, "Let's go." Oh my gosh! I asked Mike. I said. If you win, what are you going to do with all this money? He's like, I'm going to buy car parts. I'm like, you're such a nerd. Such a car nerd. What a nerd. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm going to buy car parts. <laughs> it is enough money that you do ask somebody, hey, what are you going to do with that money? Because really, like, you know, they earned it. Their wife isn't going to be like, hey, give me that money. <laughs> they're they're going to let, their wife's going to let them buy something nice, you know, that they want. And it's a lot of money. Oh, we jinxed him. We jinxed no, him. No, we didn't. Look where he left the cue ball. <laughs> Even if the table is still open, what do you shoot? What Ooh. do you shoot? Jackie just narrowly escaped scratching in that corner pocket. Yeah, Warren's got an, another three or four free shots here, I think. He could shoot the six and play safe. He could shoot the one in a couple different ways and play safe. He could... Back cut the seven. I think I that's the last option. I don't mind chipping, chipping at that cue ball and just snugging that cue ball into that little cluster there. You got to watch that. you don't kiss off and scratch or something, though. Where are you scratching to? Like you're going to kiss the two and go towards the four, three. Yeah, well, yeah, but you just clip the two <laughs> so you go off that side rail and then into the mm -hmm. that little cluster. I don't hate that. I do like safe no matter what the play there. Watch out. There's a pocket over there, Warren. Genius. Perfect. <laughs> that was really, really good, though. Yeah. It was a little close to the pocket, but that's fine. That will do. 
And look, Derek says, we did jinx him. We didn't. <laughs> he was playing safe, man. You didn't know? Well, safety. Safety first. He's a, he teaches that in school. That's what he does. He's a teacher. He teaches <laughs> sa electricity, you know, safety first. Safety first. It's important. Got to make sure everybody knows. <laughs> don't need anybody getting shocked, right? That's one job where you just can't. <laughs> yeah. You don't get a second chance. You kind of got to, like, make sure. You can take some small shocks. But there's some electricity you cannot get shocked by. Those guys that, uh, like the most dangerous jobs in the world, the guys that like climb up those 5,000 foot poles. Yeah. That stuff is crazy to me. Yeah, I love watching those. Ryder and I watched one recently that was about similar. Like they're building one. It was on dirty jobs. Yeah. Makes my stomach just flip flops like i spent like uh six weeks building this they were building one of those uh, satellite tower yeah it's amazing look at this shot from colin pretty crafty that was about the best he could do i think from where he was uh, derek's asking what matches this this is the b final derek fletcher your uh, team must just be like <laughs> they must hate you so much no, i'm just kidding <laughs> They didn't even tell you how far along in the tournament they are. <laughs> they got uh, who ate my rice is waiting in the hot seat. Yeah, they they for made this winner. It, they made it all the way to the A final, Derek, before they lost to who ate my rice. So if they win another game here, they're gonna have to beat them twice. Uh, Warren made a good shot there. He just about lost the cue ball, but he's okay. He's got the five. I think he's still got the three as well. They didn't tell him anything. <laughs> well, a good teammate would have just come in from Edmonton and just made a stop here and well, cheered him on. Yeah, take a weekend off, you know. <laughs> I mean, you're pretty much driving right by the leather pocket on uh -oh. your way in from Edmonton. What's happened here? What did Warren do there? What did he do? Derek jinxed him. D it's definitely Derek's fault, yeah. <laughs> I didn't see how he hit the seven. Accidental oh. or Jackie? I don't think Jackie's got a path to the side. She might have to go to the corner here. Yeah, I tend to think if she doesn't have the side, she probably plays safe. That's been that's been the style so far, right? Just eyeing it up like she has it. No corner now. She's going for it. Corners is a big, big shot. That's real tough. They're going to probably call a ref. I think she's probably got more room than we can see here. I think the camera is deceptive. See. I'd probably let her shoot it. <laughs> Even if it was close. If she makes it, she deserves it. I don't need a ref calling a foul. <laughs> like, even if she fouled and made that, I just... That's good. <laughs> deserved it. It's too hard to cut that ball in, right? I like how she's giving it full attention, though, right? Mm -hmm. There's no... Well, this, she knows that the team needs this. This is a free shot, and you got to try to keep your team in the match. Overcut it. Oh, no. Yeah, her only saving grace is now she's put pressure on Warren. He has to get out. He can't play safe anymore. She put the ball near a hole. Yep. Let's see if Colin kind of recognizes that, or if he just still head down trying to win his game sometimes you'll see that other player speed up a bit because he thinks he already lost mm -hmm. i think it's important to not do that <laughs> to just you know anything can happen warren might not get out you know i just gotta win my game do what i need to do if we lose we lose right yeah, he, he's giving it to be sure he's not over there just pumping in balls he's gonna wait for warren to shoot he's taking his time I think they're both waiting for each other to shoot. <laughs> they're definitely not rushing. I can't rush at this stage. I did have a team last night mention something about the other team playing too slow, and I just thought, well, wow. <laughs> of all times to say that. 
it's in playoffs when first place is 10,000. Like, yeah. of course they're playing slow. Yeah, of course. They've never felt these kind of nerves before. Leave them alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mean just because you're not playing slow means, you know, they should know how to play under this pressure, right? No way. Playoffs is a totally different animal. Ah, it's like poker, you know? You see poker, oh, the game's flowing nice and easy, and then all of a sudden one guy goes all in. Yeah. You don't rush that other guy to call or fold, yeah. right? You just let him take his time because it's like... Well, on final <laughs> table, right? Final table is a totally different story. Slows way down. Yeah. Everything's slow. All the decisions are amplified, right? Wow, what a nice shot by Colin there. That was beautiful. I thought he might shoot the other ball first, but then he was going to end, end up on the wrong side of this ball near the 2, the 11. No, oh, he drew that ball back perfect. Oh, sweet. Now he can shoot the 11. I think Q ball misses the 2. Two rails for the, what is that, the 9? Yeah, and then and then the work begins. Oh, he went ah. into it. He hit it. Yeah, if you're going into the 2 there, then you got to find something else to do. <laughs> or you got to draw it, or you got to, like, because yeah. it's going to nudge in the way a lot. Warren hooked himself over there, hey? That's kind of big. Uh oh, the struggle getting out on that last last game is real. The last game is hard to win. Last game is not easy. Colin is not looking like a favorite in this game, though. Who's he playing over there? Colin. Mike. He's playing Mike, right? Mm. Pretty sure. Is he? Yeah, God. I'm pretty sure it's Mike. I think we're about to find out. For a minute, I thought Colin was playing nobody because he just runs out every time. But Yeah, I can't say I've seen anybody at that table, to be honest. I think it was Mike early. You're right. <laughs> Stress from both sides. So much bad decision. Yeah, yeah. Eli remembers this. <laughs> he played in Calgary, played playoffs before. Stressful times. Where did Eli go? Where'd you go, Eli? I think he went back home. Oh, that second Ooh. kiss might have helped him a bit. I don't know if the 13 goes. Let's see. What a match these teams are having. This is great. Oh, Warren made a hit and got safe. Let's see what happened. You guys are ever looking for pool lessons in Calgary. I, I used to do a lot of instruction. I don't do a lot anymore. I'm super, super busy. Steph mentioned, you know, it's too many jobs. And <laughs> too <parenting>. many hats. <laughs> too many hats. But I've been referring students to Dwayne Bjornstad. Oh, oh my wow, God. Wow, Jackie. What? I wish I could clap so she could see and hear me because <laughs> that was awesome. What a great kick. How great was that? Keeping to keep him in her the alive game. and Colin is shooting over there. This could be Hill Hill in a minute. Oh my goodness. And Warren's got to be sick. Warren's got to be so sick because he knows he should have won that yeah, game. Yeah, he should have been out. Even though she kicked in that ball, he's got to be sick, you know? Oh my God, what a kick. Who cares about Dwayne's lessons? She just kicked in that <laughs> ball. As I was saying, I've been referring students to Dwayne because he's a super teacher. You know, because yeah. he taught your kids a little bit too, right? Yeah. He's so good at what he does. So I just I just tell people, just call Dwayne. This guy's going to help you out. Dwayne keeps throwing me a bone. <laughs> a little advertising money. Well, it's nicer <laughs> than that, hey? Last time he gave me 60 bucks. This time he gave me 40 bucks. Time before that, he gave me like 60 bucks. He said, I sold the guy like 600 bucks worth of cues too, he said. Oh, nice. The student. It's Everybody wins, right? Yeah, that's right. Well, and he brings the students to Leather Pocket, mm -hmm. right? No brainer for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, man, I wish more people would call me for lessons. I wouldn't even have to do them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make money. <laughs> what could be better? Just a little commission on the side? Yeah, a little referral fee, right? Yeah. 
super nice of Dwayne to do that because he sure. doesn't have to do that. <laughs> of course. He could come in, give me 20 bucks. Yeah. Give me 10 bucks. He could give me no bucks. I don't expect nothing, right? Yeah. You, uh, you refer to the good people, that is for sure. Uh, Dwayne's a good person. But I think that that goes hand in hand for a lot of our, like in the pool community, we have someone for everything so plumbers good. electricians so you know great. so helpful flooring guys roofing guys painters and, and the list goes on and yeah. on accountants yeah like it's just i would i would much rather give money to somebody i know rather than some random stranger a thousand percent a thousand percent actually i think warren was looking for a landscaper today right that's right and a couple people right away just refer my brother and, and that's super nice of you guys I know he'll appreciate it. Warren will appreciate it too because it's going to be cheaper. Yeah. And it's going to be, you know, you're, you're kind of helping out local, right? Yeah. You go to a big landscaping company. He already knows that. Of course. But he doesn't want to do that. Warren wants to try to help a little local, yeah. right? He has my sister clean his house too because he's, you know. Oh, that's nice. He wants his house clean, but he also wants to help her a bit, right? Of so course. Kill two birds, right? Yeah, Warren's such a nice guy. Yeah. So many nice guys. So if you guys need lessons, feel free to shoot me a message and I can pass you along to Dwayne. If I don't have time myself, I do still try to do some myself. It's a crafty little shot by Colin there. Looks Good like, safety. Looks like they're just going to wait to play the next game. I'm not a huge fan of that. If I'm on team good, bad, and ugly, I'm going to go win that game. I'm going to go win that game and I'm not going to, I'm not going to let Mike feel it. Mm-hmm. Because right now, Mike feels like it's Hill Hill. Mm-hmm. That's right. true. That's true. And Mike yep. Mike isn't the anchor. I think I think Derek is going to play the other game. They have the right guy shooting over there, let me tell you. Breaking and shooting, they picked the right guy. Derek's got nerves of steel, you know? He seems to just have that great well, he's, mentality. And he's played at such a high level for so many years that, you know, he's been in this situation however many dozens of times. And he's just getting better and better, too. He is still getting better, you know. It's like, look at that break. Nice. Crushed it. What's he getting? You could see him. He, <laughs> a little body English mm -hmm, there because mm -hmm. everything tied up. But you never get an easy out, Hill Hill. <laughs> never. <laughs> Colin with a real tough shot here. I don't think he can go for this. I don't know what he sees here. Got to be scratching here. Is he not scratching? What does he see? I don't know how this cue ball is not ever just straight in the side if he's trying to cut this ball in. Oh, he went super soft. Just try to touch okay. it, keep it safe. That was pretty good. A little safe, yeah. He looked like he was going to call it and try something crazy there for a minute. Oh, nice opener from Derek. Very nice. Three one for Tyler over Melling. It's race to seven still. I believe so. Hard to say. It doesn't say what the race is. Is that Chris Melling just won a game? It's almost looking like it. Maybe. It maybe it's 3-2? It was maybe 3 nothing. Tyler is what I'm thinking. And now it's 3-1. Derek with a little breakout over there. Love the camera work, eh? Just zoom in on mm -hmm. Chris for ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody cares right what the score on the is. Agonizing face. It's a little cold. <laughs> he said it, he was he was saying it was chilly in there yesterday. Get some long sleeves happening. Look, Tyler's got the long sleeves rolled up. Come on, rookie move. It doesn't say on there. I don't think so. Oh, race to eight. Oh, is it race to eight? Say. It's just like underneath oh, uh, Chris's tiny? score. Yeah, super tiny. I thought they might extend it, right? Extend the race in the final. But mm -hmm. only one game. Nine would have been cool. But then do they extend the Nine time? Nine or 11? Oh, yeah. Like the time slot for the match? Because this says there's only 35 minutes left. <laughs> That's not very much for a race to eight. It's 3-1. No. <laughs> you think we're going to see a shootout, guys? What happens if it's like neck and neck? What if it goes like 3-3, 4-4, 5-5? Then it's shootout for sure. Yeah. 
or it's somebody running to win the last game, which mm -hmm. is fun. <laughs> that can be fun. Who decides if the 13th game should be played or wait? Home team, ref. Yeah, the ref can definitely decide. Kameo, the ref can just say, you guys have to play this game. Absolutely. Because oftentimes these tournaments are way behind schedule, right? Yeah. And, and we are not way behind, but we're an hour and a half behind. So it could lead to a very late night, which is fine for me, but maybe not for the players. I got to work tomorrow. That's me. I, I have to work tomorrow too. I was just saying. <laughs> but you got to work here, so it's different. <laughs> but I have to work here. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Your boss is a little more lenient. My boss is slightly more lenient because she knows I work a lot of hours. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "Take a day off. You should take a day off." You know what, Ben? You should take a day off. <laughs> okay. I'm like, yeah, but but I love it here. <laughs> I take a day off and then I just come play. <laughs> yeah. Or I just come hang out. I'm like, yeah, but all my friends are there. Like, yeah, that's <laughs> what am true. I going to do? Sit at home and watch TV? Nope. Jeremy Brand, thanks for tuning in. And thanks for winning last week. Jeremy on the team that double dipped last week. That does not surprise me. Thanks for playing good in the Moscone Cup team. Jeremy won that too. He's just winning team events left and right nowadays. He must be rich. He might be a good team player. It's like the most easygoing guy, right? Just like Maybe Jeremy's a lucky charm. Ooh. I've been telling him now, he's never lost to me in playoffs in his life. <laughs> it's 1-0, and oh, right? He beat me and then and didn't play again. So it's like, just go around telling people you never lost to Ben Francis in your life in playoffs. Undefeated. Not once. Because I go around telling them I've never lost to Sky Woodward. It's true. <laughs> A bit this. of a safety game on the right here. It's safety game on both sides now. Oh, but what a shot from Colin. Oh, my gosh. We might be Hill Hill. Oh, yeah. It is. It is going to be. And Derek's going to have to jump in this ball, or they might lose this match from being way ahead. They were on the hill early at 12-9, right? Oh, my gosh. I think it was 12-9. We're going to hear the loudest yell if 8-Ball Express wins this match. Who is on that other table on the I right? I was just going to say, see. who is the anchor? I didn't see. It's got to be Warren, right? It's got to be Warren. Because we've seen Mike. We've seen... We've seen... Uh, uh, not Mike, sorry. We've seen we see Colin here. We've seen Jackie. Mm -hmm. We've seen the other players, right? We've seen Al Warren? already. We've seen... Is it Buck? It could be Al. We already saw Buck. Oh, my, yeah, it's been a while since we've seen Al. It's Al or it's Warren. I'm not sure who, but it's oh freaking Hill God. Hill, you guys. Hill Hill. Yeah, I was supposed to be out of here an hour ago. Oh, my God. Yeah, but you can't just leave when it's that close. <laughs> you didn't even eat your soup either. I, am, I know. I've been talking <laughs> the whole time. <gasps> That's it. Oh, but he put okay. the two in a funny spot. It is Fallen Warren. Fallen hand. Fallen hand. You know what? They got the right guy doing the job here, too, with Warren at the table. Oh, my goodness. I was a little worried for them when he was sitting this match. But they put him in. Never too late. Got to shoot the two. You can't shoot. No, you can't do that. Warren, shoot the two. I mean, you could save the two to get on the eight, but I don't like shooting that ball uh, under uh, pressure. I like, I like taking this two ball first. Shoot the two. Roll straight forward. Shoot the three next. Yes. Right? Yep. If you don't get far enough... Shoot the six. Yeah, your six if, goes in the side, goes to the corner. If you don't get far enough again, play the safe. Yeah, you, you can just use roll the behind five. the three, yep. right? So many options, but get that yeah. tough ball out of there. Yeah. Or if you really hate it that much, you shoot the five, you move the two. But I don't, I'm not a big fan of moving the two. You don't need to. Uh, yeah. I don't think you shoot the two in the lower left on the first shot. No. I was going <laughs> to say, don't go that way. Don't yes. Do that yeah, here away, we go. that away. It's just under pressure. It can cloud your judgment a bit. I'm glad he took time. Think about it for a second. Big game for his team. Big game in the tournament. Oh, he's hit this nicely. He's hit perfect. this nicely. He's perfect. He could shoot the six. He could shoot the three. He could play safe. He could do whatever he wants from here, right? I don't like the safe, though. Don't play the safe. No. You, you have an opportunity now. You take the opportunity now. Yeah. I take the three 
just with a little top even just so that you got a little angle on the five and it's natural to come out for the six yeah absolutely you got it you might you might even play a little inside send the cue ball into the eight just to stop it you know then you're on the five on the five nice however you like it right or he could go into the six to stop the cue ball right if you have yeah. too much angle here which I think he does have a bit more angle than what the camera shows. You can even take the five. You can chip the five in now. Come around for the three. Yeah, or in the come same around pocket. for the six. Yeah, that is that is a good play too. I don't like that because he's lefty, you see? Oh, yeah, I see, if I see. If he's right-handed, then, then you probably contemplate that. Because you can control it nice with mm -hmm. this. Yeah, he's stretching on the shot. Short bridge and you can like stroke it nice. I would probably play that being a righty because you can control it real nice. Oh, there's some Warren fans out there. Some 8-Ball Express fans trying to will their man on. What a comeback. Okay, so he's getting the extension out. He's going to shoot the five. What a comeback. They were trailing. It was not looking good. It was 12-9. Good, bad, and the ugly where they had momentum. And they waited right till the end to get it, you know? Mm-hmm. It was like, it was neck and neck to 8-8, eight, eight, and then all of a sudden, bang, it was 12-9. I didn't think this was going the distance. I did when it was 8-8. Eight, eight yeah. And 6-6. Six, six. And then, the, yeah, they started to pull away a little but bit. But then 12-9, I thought, nah, it's pretty hard to come back, right? Yeah, Susie's been here watching all day, too. She's cheering Warren on from the sidelines. Lot of lot of eight ball express fans out there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them pouring in. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you can get a little caught up, and this shot is getting way tougher now because you're taking too long. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that he's taking too long. I'm just saying you think overthink it in your head. You're you feel like you're taking too long, and then you get overthinking, and then you can't decide. You can see you got the extension. Now he took the extension off, and now he can't. Yeah. Sometimes you got to be like, what ball was I trying to shape? Okay, I'm shooting the three. Yeah. Right? I think, oh, he's doing the six now. Like, I think taking the five was the right shot because then you've got the three or the six if you overhit it. I think he's okay here. Just stun it. Oh, wow. Oh, and now no, the combo's a, combo. a hanger. It's a hanger, though. He did good there. You know what I think he did? Look where he put the cue ball. He wasn't 100%, so he's like, I'm just going to tuck this behind the eight. A little and if I miss way. the ball, then... Then I'm still gonna win the game. This he is thought good. it through. He thought it through. That's good. That was that was really good. And this is this plays Ooh. natural. This is good. Wow, one more good shape shot. You gotta be careful. Just bring it, drag it back a few inches. Yeah, just soft draw. Oh, he hit it perfect. Oh, he hit it perfect. Listen oh. for the yell. They're gonna yell. I don't know if you guys can hear it. <laughs> what a comeback. That was incredible wow, to watch. I cannot believe that. I'm so happy for them, but my heart also hurts for those other guys. Oh, yeah. Their heads are hanging. They were right there. They're, yeah, that was a tough one. But what a match. What a match. And they did good. Third place in this field is awesome. They're going to take home a good chunk of cash. And we're going to have the final coming up right away. Don't go far, guys. We'll be right back.